Christine, why is it we shouldn't use other people's affirmations that they have written and use themselves? Well, again, I wouldn't say it's so black and white, but let me try to understand why it's... And this, by the way, I'm going to tie in two things. Uh, subliminal stuff. People have talked about subliminal stuff and affirmations. I'm going to lump these both together because in my mind, they are basically equivalent. So for those of you that have maybe looked into some subliminal stuff and affirmation, the reason it is preferred to write the affirmations yourself or the subliminal record it yourself is twofold. One, in order to write something or record something, it requires you to think about it a little bit, doesn't it? it? requires you to spend a little time with the idea of it, doesn't it? And what that does is it's a, that's a manifestation technique in and of itself. So the very nature of thinking, oh, shoot, I need to put this down. I need to record this. I need to make my own is very powerful. Then when you shape it and word it, now it's yours. It's for your specific scenario for you personally. Again, kind of going into what I was talking about earlier, you've gotten to know yourself. You've gotten to know how you operate. So it's geared for you. Just like not all diets work. Look out there and see it. Look at for, look, just look up diets online. There's like 8 million different books, right? And there's 8 million different variants of diets. Some work for some, some don't work for others. Everyone raves about something. Nobody says anything about other, right? Like, so we're all different. Long story short. So yeah, putting your own together is a twofold win-win and it is a far more powerful experience and far more effective if you do that. I hope that makes a difference.